What's good, y'all? It is the Psychedelic Seal back from the dead and back to bring you another challenge video, this time of Pokemon Fire Red, no centers or PC run. We're also going to do set battles and no items in battle, but I'll explain all of the rules as we continue. So let's go ahead, get into it. I don't want to wait any longer. So this is going to be slightly different than the other ones or the other videos that I have done because this is going to be more of a live commentary stream kind of thing, mostly because uh, I got a new mic that is really better suited for something like this, as well as I would love to be able to stream for you guys. So if that's something that you are interested in, go ahead and just tell me down in the comments after the video, and I would love to be able to bring that to you anyways. As you see, I started the arbitrary timer in the bottom left. I'm not trying to do this as fast as I can, but I am interested to see how long this type of challenge is going to take me. So this seal is a real boy, the real seal boy. And you know who I be, you know who it is. It is the seal. And what could be a fun name for our little rival right here? Toru, 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 Tofu. We'll do Tofu. I don't know, dude, he just brings up some really strong meat substitute feelings inside of me. He looks hella soy based. If you haven't watched one of these Poke Center or no Poke Center challenge videos on YouTube, I know Small Ant did one, My Dry Bread did one, both for Emerald. And I think uh, Psycho Plays did one for Leaf Green, although I just saw that he did them. I haven't watched his videos yet about his playthrough i'll probably watch them after i complete mine since i just want to go in with my own experience so the whole shtick is that you won't be able to use poke centers or pcs to heal your pokemon and i'll go ahead and explain why i chose bulbasaur right here even though squirtle is my favorite pokemon he's just going to be better for the first two gyms where squirtle's advantage is really only for the first his name is jeff yeah, we can't use um, the PC either because that would restore our health and our power points if we were to, you know, deposit a Pokemon and then withdraw him immediately. It's honestly just a really lame workaround to make this challenge easier, but we're not going to use PCs at all to, you know, keep it harder. And right after this battle is actually going to be one of the very few times we are automatically healed inside this entire game. It's also one of the very few times where we can actually lose and it be no consequence because we would automatically get healed after this no matter what the only thing we're really missing out on is the experience gain if we lose but we definitely want to win because that experience gain is really important since we have such a limited amount of power points that getting up to nearly level six right off the bat is going to be useful okay easy peasy lemon squeezy oozy poozy lemon scoozy oh it's just so tasty yeah, so like my other challenges, we're not going to do items in battle because I really don't think that they're going to be necessary. And I do have the battle style to set. I won't be able to change Pokemon depending on what the next person or what the trainer is going to bring in next. So just a little bit of an added difficulty. It won't really matter for anyone unless it's gym trainers or more than anything the Elite Four. So I'm not gonna really worry at all about any of these Pokemon down at the very start of the game, just because I don't think that they're gonna be super useful. And we are extremely limited in who we can add to our team since we can't use that PC mechanic, which means that we can only ever have six Pokemon on our team. And one of them is already Jeff. So we only have five slots available. I do know I want Nidoran male on my team because he can learn a whole lot of TMs and he's available early on in the game and I can fully evolve him with a Moonstone very early on so that should be really useful. That's really all the strategy I've thought of at this point though. I know I'm going to need some type of water type. I don't know if I'm going to use, I guess I kind of have to use the Lapras that they give us in Silphco because that's gonna be automatically added to my party. So that looks like it's gonna be kind of predetermined for me. And I hadn't thought about that until right now. So one of our team members is gonna be a Lapras, unless I already have six at that point, but I really don't think I will. I think I'm just so used to playing the early game because even though this is actually my very first time ever playing any of the gen one remakes, I never played or never even owned 
fire red or leaf green. And this is the first time I've had the chance to actually play them. And I don't own a Switch, so I haven't been able to play either of the Let's Go games. But I do have quite a bit of experience with Pokemon Yellow. I, you know, I beat it when I was like seven or eight. It was the first Pokemon game that I beat, even though I have, God, I must have beaten uh, Ruby and Sapphire probably a dozen times each and that was the first like game that I really really went all the way in on and my main Pokemon game definitely so uh, interrupt that story so we're at the Mart and since that's going to be our only available source of healing throughout this entire run we're going to pick up a couple status healing items and pretty much spend the rest on the Poke not Pokeballs but potions because we need health at some point or another I am super familiar with yellow now because it's right now it's the only game I know how to speed run. Um, I'm not good, but it's fun nonetheless to kind of, you know, do all the little manipulations and get, you know, shave off a couple minutes each time off your record. But I am actually learning another speed run right now, mostly so I can get better at the game because it's it's a game I had a little bit of a struggle with. It's one of those older games that the first time you play it, you're going to die a lot. But as you play it subsequent times, you start to learn more tricks and things like that, and you can get a lot more consistent. But I do need a lot more practice and honestly, just to know the game a little bit better before I bring you guys a video on that, because I would love to do a randomizer on it. And as a little hint, it is a community that is really into randomizers, and it's a game that is heavily randomized. So. I'm really looking forward to playing that, hopefully really soon. Okay, and I am going to be save scumming quite a bit just because I can't white out. Because if I white out, sure, I'll lose money, but being able to completely restore my health and my power points is way more important than any type of money that I would get. So therefore, I cannot do that. Okay, so we're up to level seven, which is the most important level that we need because that's when we get leech seed. And that way I can simply seed both Brock's Onyx and Geodude. And I don't have to waste a bunch of like tackle power points or I think the first one he gets after this is Vine Whip. So I wouldn't have to waste those power points having to try to defeat them. So my team is gonna be pretty naturally under level throughout most of this run since I can't, I can't, grind at all because that would just really kill my PowerPoint usage and I don't want to you know get one Pokemon that has high HP and maybe high attack and just struggle a lot with it and then put like an experience share on my other Pokemon just because that doesn't sound super fun to me fighting anything that's not a trainer Pokemon because they do get extra experience is going to be honestly just a waste of my resources. All right, and we are almost out of Viridian Forest, but of course we got to get that one additional encounter after the trainer. I would actually love to do some type of bug only run in one of these earlier gens before they got, you know, literally anything going for them. I think that'd be quite a bit of fun or maybe just doing like the, um, like the Butterfree, Beedrill, Dustox, Beautifly, like those kind of Pokemon. Doing a run with them somehow with some additional rules could be a lot of fun. So just going to go ahead and go to the gym. Actually, we're going to test to see if our leech seed strategy works then. Sweet. Geodude was seeded. There's six health and Brock's Geodude is two levels higher. But we're also going to be spamming out growls, which will help us a lot. And now we wait. Okay, one more turn. Maybe, please. That Geodude is a Dunzaruni. And we do go up to level 10. I think we learned Vine Whip. So that's awesome. So I would like to save these Vine Whips because there's only not 10 PP, which is I think a little bit low, but we're gonna save those for Misty. As long as I can set up the Leech Seed and stall him out long enough to where I get enough health back, I think I should be fine. So let's go ahead and seed him. Awesome possum. We should be getting a decent amount of health back each turn. And now we spam growl. I'm gonna go ahead and just use tackle just because that way we can go to onyx with full health. Okay, one more turn. And then this will also sweet. So that means Brock doesn't have a potion in this game. 
Leech Seed will do its thing. We're at 35 health and we have the first gym badge without much issue at all. We're three levels away from evolving. This went better than I thought it would. I'll take it. So we got the running shoes from Professor Oak's aid, which reminds me that I probably should have made this a seed that has those little quality of life improvements that you get from a randomizer, like running inside and stuff like that. But it's whatever. Those little quality of life improvements are awesome. Like I was playing a Wind Waker seed, just vanilla, like nothing special, but I did put on like Quick Sail or um, Swift Sail and just little things like quicker block pushing and stuff like that. Just those little quality of life improvements and my God, it doesn't make it so much better. Also having a massive HD patch that, that kind of hurts my PC, but makes it look so beautiful is really awesome to be able to have on a game that old. But we will make a slot for poison powder. Might as well just go ahead and get rid of tackle. Hey, okay, let's go level, level six, shit. So we're gonna have to do some switch training, but that's okay. That's one, that's two, that's three, let's go. His name is Inigo Montoya, prepare to die. God, that is terrifying. Like when you have it really blown up, those eyes of Paris really get to you. What? Jeff is evolving. I should have thrown y'all for a loop this one and then just done like randomized evolutions. <laughs> Jeff evolved into a Moltres. Okay, this dude has what, like a Grimer and something? Yeah, we're gonna seed him. And then I think we're gonna switch back into uh, Nidoran. I mean, just go into using Leer or Focus Energy. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Pokemon, go back over to Jeff. He has three Pokemon. This is not good. Okay, I think we're gonna be out of Vine Whips after coughing here. I don't know what his last Pokemon is. Voltorb. Okay, thank God that's over. Anyways, we're gonna go and teach Bullet Seed to Jeff. Having a like stab boost and move with 30 power points is going to be pretty mega, I think. All right, and we are in Cerulean. Hmm. What I think I'm gonna do actually is try to go through Misty's gym. I think this trainer just has one Pokemon and you you don't need to battle her in this game. I'm still gonna bather, bather, battle her. Cause I honestly just need the experience. Level 19. That is higher than the other Pokemon. Yeah, so I think we're gonna skip over Misty for right now. I don't think we necessarily have what it's going to take to beat her. All right, now let's, let's again hope that our little streak of not having to reset is st stays alive. Ha 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 ha. Ugh, level 17. Oh, this is not going to go well at all, is it? Okay, so we did white out, which is a reset. That's fine. Honestly, being at this point and having only one reset, I'm kind of fine with it. Let's just try Misty and see what happens. Pokemon, switch over to... I should probably heal Jeff. I should have probably healed Jeff. Okay, an ego can handle. <laughs> oh no! No, oh, I'm gonna be here for a minute, aren't I? What does what does Bullet Seed do? Okay, Harden is good. Bullet Seed can go down in four. Water Pulse does seven damage. Okay. Okay. A Swift which does kill. Okay, that's fine, another reset, that's fine. Okay, now let's try again with Bulbasaur at full health, knowing full well that Star U can't really do anything to it. Okay, now it's just praying that we can take down that Star Me. So Inigo learned double kick, right? Okay, awesome, so he has one more move. Swift does 15, okay, we can survive. Oh, that's not a lot. Hey, hey, okay. You swift does one, two, let's go, let's go, Jeff. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Whew. 
All right, let's give this a shot. We're just gonna go straight for the poison. Yeah, because we don't really have anything else. That is fine. Keep sand attacking, oh, please. That'd be so ideal. Try to stay out here with Jeff for as long as possible. Just keep spamming poison powder. That, oh, that does a lot. And he lives. Oh God. Okay, so that's that's another reset. Okay, so here's what I think I'm gonna do. Because the only real useful thing that Nido Reno learns that Nido King doesn't is is horn attack. But he learns thrash instead at level 22, which is arguably way more important because that has 20 power points, but effectively has like 60 in reality. So what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm actually going to grind a little bit. Get Inigo up to 14 using the kind of trash moves he has now. Have him evolve into Nidorino and then immediately evolve him into Nido King. And I think that's going to do me decent. So Inigo is gonna go ahead and evolve into Inigo Montoya. Just like second act after he gets um, beaten by Carrie Elwes. And I did just have a second thought about doing what I'm about to do, but I think it's going to be a way better option. Speed run strats. Prepare to die. Double kick will do more. And we outspeed. Okay. That, that does decent. Okay. There we go. Okay. Awesome. We got him. So that's, that's literally the hardest one. I think. Jeff grew to 19, Sickery do. So he has Ratata. Hopefully he doesn't outspeed. He probably will. He doesn't. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, and just still just has Charmander. That's super strange. Try to go for the double kick. Cut that crit. Okay. Sh I should be able to get this no matter what. I'm just gonna use double kick. And we beat the rival, perfect, with really no stress at all. Yo, Anigo is here to do some murder, some year year. And we stall like crazy. Speed this up. What the hell just happened? Oh, he must have a multi-hit move. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and shift into a Neeg into Jeff then. What in the actual hell? This Mankey almost just had me bent, dude. All right, let's go save Bell from being a Pokemon. What is he? He's a Clefairy in this game. Okay. I liked him better when he was just like the amorphous, like animal looking or Pokemon looking sprite. That was, I always liked that in the first gen. Anything over here? No. Okay. What do these people give you? Do they give you anything of value? Oh, they're just shaming me for being single. All right, then. That's cool, too. Be that way. Nobody loves your ass anyways. 